Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Welcome to Multiplication and Fraction Word Problem Day. We are having a race to celebrate multiplication and fraction word problems. Why don't you join us and we can solve a few problems of our own. Sherry sells chocolate bunnies. Each chocolate bunny weighs two-thirds of a pound. How many pounds of chocolate does she need to make five bunnies? We know each bunny is two-thirds of a pound of chocolate. What about five bunnies? We can use repeated addition to find out how many pounds of chocolate is needed, but that looks like a lot of work. Instead, we can use multiplication. Two-thirds of a pound of chocolate times five chocolate bunnies. To multiply a fraction by a whole number, write the whole number as a fraction with one in the denominator. Then we can multiply straight across. So 5 turns into the fraction 5 divided by 1. And multiplying straight across gives us 2 times 5 in the numerator and 3 times 1 in the denominator. Performing the multiplication, we get 10 over 3, or 10 thirds. 10 thirds pounds of chocolate sounds kind of funny. So let's change this improper fraction to a mixed number. 10 divided by 3 equals 3, with a remainder of 1. So we write the remainder over the denominator to represent the fractional part. So 10 thirds equals 3 and 1 third. Sherry needs 3 and 1 third pounds of chocolate to make 5 chocolate bunnies. Yummy! What if Sherry sells chocolate bunnies that weigh two-eighths of a pound each? How many pounds of chocolate does she need to make eight bunnies? This time, we will multiply two-eighths times eight. Let's start by writing eight as a fraction, eight over one. Now we can multiply straight across. This gives us two times eight in the numerator and eight times one in the denominator. 2 times 8 is 16, and 8 times 1 is 8, so we have 16 eighths. That's interesting. 16 divided by 8 is 2, so we can simplify the fraction and we get a whole number. This means Sherry's 8 bunnies will weigh 2 pounds. That sounds like a lot of yummy chocolate. This is making me thirsty, so I'm going to the soda shop. The soda shop squirts one-fifth cup of soda syrup into each drink. How many cups of soda syrup will be needed to make seven drinks? Here's another situation where we will multiply. One-fifth cup of soda syrup times seven drinks will tell us how many cups of soda syrup we need for our drinks. Remember, we can write seven as a fraction with one in the denominator. Now we can multiply straight across. This gives us 1 times 7 over 5 times 1, or 7 fifths. We need 7 fifths cups of soda syrup. But let's change this into a mixed number. 5 goes into 7 one time with a remainder of 2, or 2 fifths. That means 7 fifths equals 1 and 2 fifths. The soda shop needs one and two-fifths cups of soda syrup to make seven drinks. Great job! We are on our last lap. Here we go! Uh-oh, this is a sharp turn. Whoa! I did not win, but I had tons of fun, and that is what is important. Thanks for joining me in solving those work problems. See you next time. Goodbye! Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.